About 106 years. How did it start? Oh no, it was no way. <laughs> no, it was started by my cousin's grandfather. Uh, presumably he wanted to start a business up and he started up as a tobacconist. How, how did you end up working with him? My cousin passed away. My mother was in the shop and she got to her late 70s and decided she didn't want to work any longer so I sort of fell into the trade. It's very enjoyable to own one. You, you, you know, it's a, you're your own boss. You do to an extent what you would like, um, and you, especially in this trade, you meet a, a, a variety of people who are all very nice. The worst part of owning it is so there's so much paperwork and so much legislation and and red tape. So, how have new laws and other factors changed the tobacco? Well, it's tra changed it because um, you're now, now, now customers don't have a choice. They have that told what they can have to an extent, and will do as from May when there's no flavoured tobaccos. Um, they have to buy a certain amount these days instead of being able to buy what they wanted to. Are you looking for cigarette tobacco? Cigarette tobacco. Yeah. Flavoured. Flavoured. Yeah, good one for me. Can I get Charlie another? Yeah, of course you can. Brilliant. The basic difference between smoking a cigarette and a pipe is that with a cigarette you're smoking it for the nicotine inhalation. A pipe is a totally different thing. You don't inhale and you're smoking it for the flavour, the taste and the strength of the tobacco. If I was forced to buy a pipe from here at the moment, because it's got a lovely grain to it, it's got a lovely finish, although it's a natural briar rather than a waxed one, but it fits comfortably in the hand. It sits nice in the hand, it looks nice, and therefore I think it would smoke very nice. A pipe is a very personal thing, and it's like a lot of other things. If, it, if you like it and it suits you, it doesn't mean to say that somebody else will do that. It helps have a very good relationship, and most of the cu most of my customers, I do have a good relationship with them, um, and they with the store, to the extent that I do know most others, acquaintances, and in some cases, and friends.